Match 707, George the Animal Steel versus Sid Vicious. Here we go. In the old Hasbro toy ring, as you can see the box there on the picture, there it is. And here we go. Sid and George the Animal, one-on-one. -on -one. Ten minute time limit, so we don't have a super long match. So hopefully this doesn't go to a draw, but we'll see what happens. Sid is showing his power on George the Animal. Yes, yeah, Sid, uh, yeah, it's probably his most famous match. Uh, might have been main event in WrestleMania against The Undertaker. It's probably, yeah, it's probably his biggest match of his career. That, of, uh, that and, uh, because was, that was for the world title. Because yeah, the Hogan one at WrestleMania 8 was big too, but it wasn't for the world title. So yeah, those, those two were probably his biggest matches. And George the Animal Steel was... Uh, he was actually ringside for the, the one of the best WrestleMania matches, or Steamboat vs. Savage, WrestleMania 3. But yeah, he was he was a crazy character, George the Animal, with his uh, the green tongue and used to eat the turnbuckles. And he didn't really eat them. He just literally he just he, he ripped them apart and stuff like that. Nice elbow by Sid. Sid's probably going to win this, but we'll see what happens. I was playing around with the, with the sliders. I, th I think the best thing is to put uh, everything at 50. So it doesn't tilt anything either way. from Because it, it, it goes 0 to 100. You put it at 50. And then, uh, then you just... Uh, it could, then it's more. I think it's more realistic to their attributes if you do it that way, because because uh, it's not leaning anything either way. So you you go you bend and you yeah you just. Uh, I think it makes the match more realistic. It's just what I what I'm finding. All right, I put twenty second count out, so they they have some time out there. All right. Sid, what's he going to do on oh, clothesline? Yeah, Sid's, uh, I think Sid's winning this match, but we'll see. But this is for a first pin, pin or submission. This ends with. Sid was, yeah, they call him Psycho Sid, Sid Vicious, Sid Justice. He was uh, he was Sid Vicious in WCW, and then uh, he went to uh, WWE, WWF at the time. They changed him to Sid Justice. Yeah, what's the animal going to do here? Just uh, hit his nose, it looked like. And he got it again. Oop, throw him out over the top again. If you have anybody's wondering where, where, I got, where I got this ring comes from, it's the it's the Hasbro toy ring from the Hasbro line when when Hasbro had the the contract for uh, to make figures for WWF. They they made the ring all blue like this. So it's for people wondering uh, why the ring is all blue like that. It's based on the on the toy. It's a digital version of the. Hasbro toy ring. I got got a pretty even battle now. George has the finisher there though. See the, the count slow. The ref like stops and now he's now they're back in. See if George gets an upset here, yeah, because I would definitely favor Sid in this. Maybe he kicked right out. George does his finisher, though. Yeah, there it is. See if he can get Sid with the finisher. Nope. Yeah, George, used to, he used to hold him in the air like that. I guess they didn't have the move. The creator didn't give him the move that he used to hold him in the air. That's where Fire for Wrestling is good. You, you could just create any move. If, you, if the move is not available, you create it. 
All right, George, the animal steel wins. I'm surprised. Let's get the official word. Here is your winner, George the animal.